Chapter 35, Flora. Citizens of Gridlock, can you feel it? We are on the precipice of an extraordinary final trial in this Hope Runner Championship. Three of these five runners will venture to find our hope. Your banners of hope, Cassidy Kim, Satello Emmer, Darius Cantor, Argent Winslow, and Flora Kygo. Standing alongside the Great Roundabout, the five hopeful championship runners stood facing outwards to the city. Alongside them were three large mechs shrouded in tarps. Before we kick it off, we are here to reveal the new long-distance mechs that have already exponentially improved since our beloved Armin took off. The tarps fell off to reveal sleeker, giant, long-distance mechs. Jaw-dropping. For this, we thank our amazing scientists. More life support technology, better efficiency, longer distances. In the dignitary box, you will see some of our scientists from the Mech Institute. A few engineers and scientists stood and waved at the city. From the bottom, Flora couldn't properly make out the people in the dignitary's box, but Palma's dad was probably among those standing and waving. Without further ado, let's kick it off. Let's run for hope, the mayor said as celebration erupted across the city. Flora hunched into a squat, jumped, and activated her jets as she flew up to the skyscrapers alongside the other championship runners. As they rose, the city's roars became deafening. The dignitary's box came into the view. It was on a different skyscraper to the start and finish line. Her mother was wearing the new dress, and she could see Palma sitting next to his family. As they landed, Flora took a deep breath. All she had focused on the past few days was her training. She closed the dome on her mech and looked towards Palma, knowing that he would be none the wiser. Her thumb hovered over the switch to the stabilizer and flipped it. It was off. Almost immediately, the diagnostics would notify whomever was tracking it. With all her emotions inside with her in her mech, a peace fell over her. Afraid, excited, hopeful. She was ready to run to see her father, and she would give it all she had. With a jump, jump clap, the city roared for hope. A long siren went off. Her formidable competitors lined up next to her. Darius, Satello, Cassidy, and Argent, all fellow travelers. Flora was excited. The countdown began. Ten seconds to go. She crouched into a jump squat. Eight. Seven. She fired up her mech, jet engines pulsing into frisson. Six. Five. Four. Three. She took another deep breath, closed her eyes, and saw the horizon in her mind. Two. She opened her eyes. One. Flora jumped out of the gates, her mech kicking into place. She ran straight ahead in the first sprint without looking at her competitors. It was a straight path ahead before the jump started. She saw Satello coming in for an unexpected shove. Grinning, she orchestrated a lateral jet jump, a wave dash, pushing her forward, only to decelerate immediately, sending Satello into Darius on her left instead. It sent Darius stumbling off the skyscraper, barely catching it, tumbling into a wall run. The tiles and brick tore off like paper. Darius was just about to leap back into action when he slipped and missed the lip of the building. He fell down to the nets below as Flora paced past him. Shit, that was quick. Flora's heart immediately started pumping faster, panicking. But it wasn't like her specter in the previous trial. It was fuel. She channeled it back into her run, determined. Without hesitation, Flora approached a jump with a flat twister over the gridlock below to catch glimpses of the other runners around her. Far above, Argent and Cassidy were jostling in the air, wasting fuel trying to land. Just to the right of her, Satello leapt across at a flat angle like a lion. Everyone had used fuel at this point. Cassidy and Argent were still jostling higher above them, their shadows casting flickers on the rooftops. Flora raced ahead towards the dome gate with Satello slightly in front of her. Open, close, open, close. She fed the rhythm into her heart and slowed it down, triple stepping to maintain her momentum. Satello didn't and just forced ahead, jumping through the gate. As he exited, it nicked one of his legs and sent him tumbling, using precious fuel to correct. Like a dance with a triple step and a jump, Flora timed it perfectly, turning back towards the dome as she went through it ready to race up the outside of the dome. Right behind her, closer than expected, was Argent, who also caught the same opening. 
Breaking, Cassidy waited for the next opening. Further in the back came Darius. He must have used his fuel to get back up to the rooftops. Admirable. Flora was ahead, alternating between jumping, flying, and climbing. Looking at the city sprawled again underneath her, she felt it all again. The absurdness of it all, this engine of life. Yet, also hope. All of the hope for this city. For a few moments, she felt like she was playing. She was on a stage, and she was feeding off its energy. She was in control, and the city was in her palms. She suddenly jerked, her shoulder slamming into her mech. Someone had grabbed her legs and yanked her down the dome. She slipped, glimpsing that it was Argent. To her other side, Satello flew up the dome in his brutish red and white mech. Flailing, she ripped back to the race, using precious fuel to readjust. No! By the time she got back to the dome, Cassidy, Argent, and Satello had passed her. As she scrambled up, she witnessed Satello falling through the top dome down into the city, then Argent, then Cassidy. Instead of going feet first as the others, Flora dove head first. If she activated her jets now, she might not have enough fuel for the final chasm. She activated it. It was now or never. She flew towards the city, slowly angling it to a horizontal plane. It took all her energy to maintain composure. Through the apex of the turn, she screamed as she steered the mech into the sprint on the rooftops. Cassidy was inches in front of her. Close. But she knew the chasm was coming. Of all those in front of her, Argent likely had the most fuel left. Satello was first, jumping, fuel running out at the apex. He faltered and his mech sputtered as he fell. Luckily, his momentum allowed him to catch the lip of the building. As he lunged up, Argent flew past him into first place. Right in front of Flora, Cassidy jumped, with Flora following at her heels. Cassidy kept going, boosting ahead. But unfortunately, as expected, Flora's fuel had depleted. Weightless at her own apex, the world around her slowed down. This was it. All that had happened in the past few months and her fate would smash into the building in front of her. I'm sorry, Dad. She had not trained enough, her own fault. The limbo felt like floating in a swimming pool. It was okay. Momentary peace in this absurdity. Gravity took control, accelerating her towards brick, steel, and glass. She held on, her muscles regaining energy. Now the final stretch was just like a race in the simulator. She smiled, climbing up. As she turned over the lip, Cassidy ran over the finish line. The dome had revealed the faces of the winners above her, Argent, Satello, and then Cassidy. She turned behind her and saw Darius flying down. She kicked her mech back into gear and raced towards the finish line. Like in the simulator, she slowed down just before the finish line, turned around and looked back towards the race that had just happened. She grinned did a jump-jump clap, and fell with her back over the finish line into fourth place. Lying on her back, she stared at the coverage of the race on the dome. Something didn't make sense. When she focused, it showed eight white mechs had risen over the chasm in between the finish line and the dignitary's box. Abruptly turning around, she saw them hovering. Darius ran past her. Flora joined him at the edge where the other runners were standing. A voice on the screens echoed through the city. Gridlock, I'm so sorry to interrupt our wonderful championship. Some of you might know me. I'm Mason from the Trunks. I make sure that everyone is taken care of in the city. If you don't know me, just know that I've had an impact on your life. I'm here to save you from decades of enslavement and manipulation. Screams from the crowd punctured the air. The city needs to know the truth, Mason said, his voice booming across the city. Your favorite family, your representatives and custodians of our beautiful gridlock has been manipulating you for decades. The Emmers, all sitting right here in front of us, are the cause of such great turmoil. Mason slowly flew closer, staring straight at the Emmers. He pointed at them. Tell them. Tell the city what you did. Tell them how much you stole. Tell them. With that, a massive mech with giant metal wings rose behind the dignitaries. It was clanking with steam pulsing out of its suit. Mason, a woman said inside the winged metal mech. I'm afraid I can't let you harm them. Ah, Mother Mech, of course you would fight for these fools, wouldn't you? Mother Mech fired off tiny homing missile birds towards Mason and his henchmen. One of them didn't move fast enough and his mech got hit with first a strange fuzz and then an explosion, sending the mech flailing towards the crowds below. Screams flew up as the mech's shadow grew larger on the pavements. 
Without hesitation, Argent immediately leapt over the edge and flew towards it. Cassidy followed. As Argent flew down, she grabbed a hold of its legs, stabilizing it, and threw it up in the air. Cassidy grabbed the side of the building and caught the white mech. Flora saw what was happening and climbed down to catch the throw from Cassidy. In turn, she threw it up to Satello. It landed safely on the rooftop. Flora scrambled back up as Mason's voice boomed over the city. Mother, you should not have done that. As Flora regained her footing, her stomach lurched. Mason shot a missile straight into the dignitary's box. Mother Mech swooped down and sent a flock of countermeasures to intercept the missile. It exploded right in front of the dignitaries, sending shrapnel through the families and tributes. Screams pierced through the windless city. An icy shiver replaced Flora's warm sweat. Throw me! Satello shouted next to her. Throw me! Satello, are you insane? Darius said. You don't have fuel! We need to help! Throw me! Darius ran up to him. Argent joined. With a heave, they threw Satello towards a henchman, tackling him into the adjacent skyscraper and knocking the henchman unconscious. Satello held on long enough until the crowd dispersed under him. He fell down with both of them, sending dust billowing back up. Out cold, no doubt. Flora didn't know where to focus. Her mother, the other dignitaries. Shrapnel had exploded over them all. From what Flora could see through the dust, bodies slowly turned red. Gridlock! Mason's voice boomed. The Emmers, cowards, can't even protect you when it matters. For decades, they have been manipulating the markets for their own gain. Your cars in our commons were never truly yours. They slowed it down to cheat you out of your transactions, out of your rights. The man who started it all, his family has had control forever. It's a sick joke. We need to take care of them. It's the only way to take back control. Mason started warming up a weapon as he aimed again at the dignitary's box. Flora's eyes widened. She had no choice. Her body moved for her, inching towards the edge of the skyscraper and jumped. Flora, no! Argent screamed after her. She closed her eyes as she flew straight for Mason. Tucking her head in between her legs, she took her hands off her controls and held her father close to her heart. With a loud bang of metal on metal, she hit Mason in the back, disabling the weapon and sending her twisting towards the gridlock. The world spun around Flora, the horizons blending into each other. It all became one. An impact would soon come. It did, crashing into her side. But momentum had shifted. She had not come to a stop. Opening her eyes, she saw a rust bucket holding her, Rulo peering through its dome. I got you. Rulo flew with Flora down to the streets below as a war broke out around them. The crowds had fortunately dissipated into the buildings before more mechs could careen down from the sky. When she looked back around, Mother Mech was chasing down Mason, her mech's legs extending like talons clamping down on him. Closer to Flora, four of the henchmen were running towards them. There was one that stayed behind next to Mason. While Flora got back on her legs, Rulo faced the henchman. Okay, fellas, maybe we can talk this through. Over some tea, perhaps? Rulo asked. Seriously, let's talk about it, yeah? Flora could see the other championship runners climbing down the building behind the henchmen. Rulo was buying time. Okay, fine, you got me, he said, raising his hands. Argent, Darius, and Cassidy caught up and jumped into the four henchmen from behind. Gotcha! Rulo shouted before launching into a punch. Flora joined, swinging into the henchmen in front of them. Sounds of metal clanking against each other filled the streets. In a swift move, a henchman tackled Arjun into a deafening crunch, completely contorting her mech's legs. Arjun's face crunched in pain through her dome. Shit. Flora leapt and punched the henchman, his dome shattering in front of her. Flora held back her fist with all her might as he dipped into unconsciousness. She breathed heavily as the surrounding dust settled. She looked up and saw Mason punching holes in Mother Mech's metal feathers. As much as it pained her to leave Argent behind, Flora raced along with Cassidy, Darius, and Rulo towards Mason. As they got closer, the last henchman surrounding Mason grabbed a hold of Mother Mech's wings. She could not move. Mason slowly got up and, unfettered, started charging his weapon. Flora, no, stay away! came the voice from the henchman holding Mother Mech back. Like a punch to her gut, she realized who it was. She could now see his face, as white as his mech, Esper. Mother Mech struggled as the weapon kept warming up. Esper! Flora shouted, hoping that time could slow down. It did. 
In those few seconds, she could see all manner of emotions going through Esper's face. He was struggling, anguish. And then without warning, Esper let go of her wings. Mother Mech took the immediate momentum and slammed her mech's talons into Mason's mech, disabling the weapon. Piercing through the metal, blood poured out through his mech onto the pavement below him. It seeped into the gridlock, pouring through the sewage drains, dripping down into the trunks. Mother Mech turned around, full of shouting rage and anger, and lunged towards Esper. Flora jumped ahead and tackled Mother Mech. In the tumble, she hoped Esper would somehow run away. When she looked up, he was gone, flying away into the distance. Mother Mech wrestled with Flora and let go. Why did you do that? Mother Mech shouted. Flora lied. You didn't see it? He had a hidden spear. He would have impaled you. Mother Mech surveyed the situation, dusted herself off, and hurriedly flew up to the dignitary's box. The chaos slowly died down as it dawned on Flora, her mother, Palma, Argent. The runners ran towards the building and started climbing. She couldn't leave Argent behind. She ran back to her as medics rushed to the scene. As Flora peered through her mech, she saw it, a badly broken leg. Argent, in deep pain, spotted Flora and shouted towards her. Piper, Flora, please. Flora nodded and rushed back to the building. The medics had also arrived alongside Satello's lifeless mech, Carnage. She started climbing, Rulo appeared behind her. I'll take you, he said. She almost didn't want him to. It would bring her closer to the scenes of the dignitary's box. At this moment, her mother was both alive and dead, and she didn't want to know the truth. He scooped up her mech and flew her up the side of the building. As Flora got closer to the top, she saw blood dripping down the building. Flora's breathing became shallow, anxiety rising within her. They came over the lip, Rulo setting her down when the dust, damage, and blood greeted her. Flora jumped out of her mech, eyes bouncing across the scene. Her eyes caught Mother Mech holding Clara's lifeless human hand in her mech hands. Palma and Tinu stood by in shock. Sonia gently let go of her sister's hand and released a guttural cry before disappearing into the city. Flora's eyes caught Cassidy tending to her brother, who was patting himself down. Oof, he looked okay. Darius was crying over his wife's body. Was she dead? Piper Winslow was crying in a corner. The poor girl held herself, her eyes staring into nowhere. Flora rushed over and with a trembling hand, took some dust out of her eyes. Your mother is okay. She will be okay. They've taken her to the hospital, Flora said, comforting the girl. A championship official ran towards them. Flora turned towards the man and immediately asked him to text Argent and tell her that her daughter was okay. Was her own mother okay? Flora had not yet seen her and fear gripped her. Where was she? Sweat dripped over her face, taking the place of tears that would have been there if she wasn't in shock. Mom! Madeira? She cried out, her hands trembling over her face. A medic rushed to Flora. Your mother has been taken to the hospital. 